Good morning. Good morning. It's <laughs> it's who, Jen? Say. Pastor Jen, it's who. You don't even know who you have with you. You're Jen. I'm Steve. It's Monday morning Devos. Hello. <laughs> You can tell it's Monday morning when yes. I just have no juice, no, no juice, juice at all. Her battery's almost dead, guys. So right, right. So here we are, Monday mornings, uh, Devos with Steve and Jen, and I decided it's actually Friday morning, but I'm like, let's go for a walk, let's talk about Jesus, yeah. and let's just enjoy being outside because this supposed to be beautiful weather. So I'm like, let's document how cold it is today. Steve's in his office, I'm outside, and we're going to talk about rest. We're going to talk about rest. You know, it's really interesting. I've been telling everybody on uh, on the on the Get Up and Go show that I've had a hard time sleeping for the longest time, Jen. I don't sleep well. And sometimes I'm my work day is done at one o'clock uh, most days. And so between one and three, uh, two, th th 3.30, I got to go get my kids in between there. And so I try and get naps. And sometimes those naps stretch into a couple hours. And then I'm up till midnight because I've slept in the afternoon. And then my alarm goes off at 3.30. And so I have this really, really ugly sleep pattern. And it's been going on for the longest time. And I've tried, so I, I've gone to a natural path. I've tried all of their, you know, taking all their pills, taking all their suggestions, um, didn't work. It's helped, but it didn't work. Um, I've taken all of Karen's essential oil, shout out to all you ladies, selling because I've, I've bought it all. I, you know, sprayed things in the air, sprayed things on my pillow, sprayed things everywhere and still hasn't helped me sleep. And then my wife and I, she said, Steve, let's go get a bed. And we've been talking about going and getting a new bed for 15 years. Like this bed is so old. And 15 I've been, years? Yeah, we've had the bed for 15 years. And it's so, what? yeah, it's so old and it's broken down. It's got springs popping out of it. The box spring, when we moved, when we were pastoring, we moved from Aurelia to Ajax. And one of the guys uh, who was helping me move, we couldn't get our box spring out down the stairs because it was too big so we had to open up we had this big double window in our house in uh was it ajax or aurelia but he dropped it out the window. <gasps> we were trying to get straps for it and so jeremy if you're watching i you dropped it out the window broke the box spring and so we just kept it we kept it you know we even pieced it together and and you know we just finally said we need a new bed and so typically my wife and i how we do our our spending is, you know, because we, Jen and I have talked a lot about money on this and preached a lot about money. And so one of these things that we do when we have a big purchase is we will use our income tax return on a big purchase, one big purchase for the house. And so we decided, because it's a big expense, if you're going to get a good bed, I had no idea. And this is why I'm so cheap. So um, we, we got the bed and it is, I cannot tell you how good I feel. Like it was <gasps> one week with the bed and my life is completely transformed. I am in a better mood. I feel better. Even when I've had little sleep, Jen, I cannot express to you. I cannot express how good I feel. I've been getting up in the morning and I haven't been dragging myself to work. My body isn't aching. My, you know, I just, I feel better. And Todd said, you can hear it in your voice. Like you could tell you were doing better. And I'm like, I don't think I've slept for years. I don't have bags under my eyes, Jen. Wow. <laughs> it, 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 it really got to me because we think we rest. I think maybe, I think I rest, but I don't think I've ever actually taken, you know, when God says, you know, let's, let's keep the, let's keep one day holy. Let's keep, you know, I, you know, he set aside the day, he put it in the top 10. Uh, so it's pretty yes. important thing. You know, he wanted to set the example for us to follow him. And so I just, I don't think I've ever really taken the time to think, what are the kind of the things that I need to rest? Because, you know, when sometimes when we think about rest in society, you know, we got, you hear everybody talk about got to get the hustle, got to get moving. You got to be working harder than everybody else. You want it, you got to go get it. And, and sometimes we fall into that trap and maybe we're not really resting. Like, mm -hmm. you know, turning off your phone when it's your day off, you know? Yep. Like, shut it off. I'm not going to respond to anybody. And, you know, or, you know, actually going for a nap. 
you know, actually just shutting your mind off or not watching TV or not going on social media, um, not, just not doing anything for one day, just one day so that you can, you know, those batteries can be recharged and ready to go. And I, I guess my mind, my eyes have just been open to it this week because of I've seen a change in my mood. Mm. Um, I've changed, seen it physically. My body is not aching, Jen. And so I've seen these things and uh, uh, I was like, wow, I have not taken seriously the things that I need to do to find proper rest. And I've tried to find things, you know, but they weren't working. It was a bed. It was. Uh, and so, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if you have any verses on rest. I've got one. Um, but I, you, you had a story that you were thinking about. Yeah, well. Uh, Exodus 20, 11 says in six days, the Lord created the heavens and the earth uh, and he rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. And he didn't rest because he was tired. He rested because he was setting an example for us that it wasn't like because rest or work is good. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with work. Like he he That's actually right. tasks Adam and Eve in the garden to care for the land to oversee yeah. it. So work is good. The problem is when work becomes our identity, when work becomes our, our way of providing for ourselves and we, and we think it all depends on us rather than realizing that our identity actually, when we are made in the image of God, which is what he said in the very beginning, we are made in his image. We are designed for rest and we're designed to rely on him to provide for us. So he sets the example of rest so that we realize that it isn't all about us that we mm -hmm. don't have to work 24 seven to look after ourselves. And that, and I love how you said my mood is different. My body feels different. I feel yeah. good because I'm resting. And so often we, I hear people say, well, I can't, I can't take that time. And I've, I've had to learn to rest in university. I remember listening to a sermon from the pastor uh, of the church I was going to and felt so convicted about taking that 24 hour period. Um, and like university, you have exams and papers that you need to write. Yeah. And, and I remember just deciding, no, I'm not like on the Sunday, I'm going to rest from studying and working and I'm going to just enjoy the day. And that made that made me feel so good on the inside. I felt like I had space to enjoy life and to hang out with friends. And what's interesting is uh, in the book, I think it's either Nehemiah or Esther or Nehemiah or Ezra, where they talk about uh, setting up the Sabbath day and, and some uh, business people had come to set up and it was and he's like, no, no, you're not allowed in on, on the Sabbath because that's our day to actually rest and, and think about who God is and realize that it's not all about looking after ourselves. It's about yeah. realizing who God is. And, and Nehemiah got really testy <laughs> about that. And for good reason, because as soon as we start um, thinking that our provision depends all on us, then we get our eyes off of Jesus. And Steve, you and I have talked about this a lot about all of those things that get our eyes off of Jesus. And as yeah. soon as we do that, then uh, as we talked about last week, right? Our uh, antivirus yeah. gets holes in it. And yeah. so that's rest is one of those things that keeps our spiritual antivirus up and running. Absolutely. And I like how, what you just said there. You know, we think so much depends upon us and not God. And that's why we do what we do, I think. Um, so that's a good word. Let me let me finish off with this verse. It's from uh, Hebrews 4.11. And it says, let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following their example of disobedience. So let's find rest. Even Hebrews 4, 9, 10 says, there remains then a Sabbath rest for people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also uh, rests from their works, just as God did from his. And so let's find rest and uh, find a new bed. If you're having a hard time. <laughs> All right, pray bed. for us. Pray for us.
Heavenly Father, Lord, you are good, you are merciful, and I thank you for rest. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for <laughs> just a good mood and just feeling different. And Lord Jesus, um, thank you for a new bed. Thank you, mm -hmm. Father God, for showing us what was needed for rest. And anybody who, maybe they're just like me, trying all the things and not feeling like they can find sleep and needing getting that rest that they need lord would you give them wisdom and point them to areas right now that would say hey maybe you're trying this wrong maybe that you're, you're working in the wrong area like trying the wrong things try this and so lord jesus i just pray father god that you direct your people to find rest because we could have good intentions we're just not getting the results that we need and so lord jesus help us to get those results that we need so we can be obedient and be fully charged to be able to share the gospel as you called us to do we need to be in good mood you know, we mm. have the joy of the salvation. We can't be grumpy Christians. And uh, certainly a lack of rest can uh, show the wrong side of you to many people. Think about what Facebook would be like, Lord, if uh, <laughs> we all had rest as Christians. <laughs> so, Lord, it would be a better place. And we love you and we honor you and uh, be with uh, your people this week. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much, Steve. And this is one of those areas where you take, you take what we said to the Lord and you say, mm. Lord, what's the truth in what they're saying? Am I resting as I should be? And if I'm not, would you show me how to rest? Like yes. so often we can tune out what people are saying because we don't agree with it. Yeah. And I did have that experience this week. And I said, no, nope. if the Lord's saying something, I want to receive it. And so we encourage you to do that today is to take what we've said, take it to the Lord, say, what is the truth? Is there truth in what they said? If there is, would you help me hold on to it and appropriate it into my own heart and life so that I can experience the fullness of life that you want me to? Amen. Amen. All right. Well, our dear friends, thanks so much for joining in today. Like and share. And that's it. That's all. Bye.